This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers and I appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everything that y'all do for the 2A community. And like I said before, the number one goal is to uphold the Constitution to defend the Second Amendment. Now, with that said, um, I've been getting a lot of comments and stuff. People ask me, as I'm seeing all this stuff where people are pulling out farms on people, whether they're protesting, whether somebody's in their social distance space, or whether they're arguing with somebody in the grocery store or retail and stuff. You know, you have this mass situation going on. People don't wear the mask. And, you know, you have so much stuff going on in all your retailers. It's just so much. People had done lost their mind, people. But I want to tell you over here, I'm not supporting none of that stuff. Uh, to my, I've been concealed carrying for a long time. And I had never pulled my gun out because of argument or disagreement or somebody doing something. If there's no threat to me for bodily harm and stuff like that, I would never brandish my farm. I would never pull my farm to try to win an argument or to try to, to try to stoke fear in somebody. I would never do that. Because like I said before, unless there's bodily harm or some, if I'm seeing someone who's about to try to end my life or, you know, attack or hit me with something, that's the only way I would pull my farm. But as far as that, people... Um, you know, there's too many people who are pretty much just um, just getting out of control. And you have a lot of people carrying farms who have no patience whatsoever. And like I said before, everybody has guns, people. Everybody has farms. Look at the sales. Look at the farm sales in this country. Look at what the pandemic, the pandemic and this virus and, and, you know, all the rise and all this social unrest. Look what it had caused people to go on themselves. So everybody has farm. The problem is... You need to know your law. You need to, your mindset, people. It's all about the mindset. Because if your mindset ain't right, you're going to go and get yourself in a whole lot of trouble. So it's not the farm, people. It's people with their mindset. And you have to have, uh, you know, a different level of attitude when you're carrying a farm. And so you have so many people playing into the cars, playing into the cars of the, uh, of the gun grabbers and stuff, because they still out there creating gun laws. And so you have a lot of people in support of a lot of these things. But, you know, I'm not backing stupidity over here because the number one goal is to keep your Second Amendment, to keep your gun rights and not lose them. And so, like I said, you have a farm to protect yourself. That's used it that way. But you have people who get in disputes. See, if you're a person who gets in argument all the time, you don't know how to walk away and stuff, you're going to end up in a whole lot of trouble. Some things you have to walk away from unless someone is attacking you because for some reason, people don't understand the self-defense laws and stuff in their state and all this kind of stuff. Unless someone is attacking you, about to call bodily harm to you or your family member, and you see the threat coming, or to my, whether they got whatever it is, a, a, a pole, two by four, or whatever it is that can take your life right then, there's no way you should be pulling out your farm. If, if you're in a disagreement or someone is on your property and all this kind of stuff, um, there's laws in every other state for that. So get up on your state laws, people, because a lot of people are supporting things that some of the, the gun owners who are making the wrong decision are going to lose their, their Second Amendment. They're going to end up in court spending a whole lot of money where gun owners end up in most of the time, and you end up losing because you they hit you with these laws that you did not read up on. So I'm going to keep stressing that, people. Know your state laws. So I, I get a lot of comments, a lot of argument back and forth, about, you know, who's in the right and who's in the wrong. But at the end of the day, when you lose your Second Amendment, your, your 2 A rights, you, I'm not losing mine. You just lost yours. So we're going to do the right thing over here, and we're not playing and pandering to the headlines and stuff because they're using gun owners as headlines. The media is. They, I'm talking about every single day. Whatever you disagree, what the headlines say, or whatever the case may be, or they're trying to get attention or divide us and everything. But at the end of the day, people, they do not lose your gun rights. So this is these Channel Guns. And I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.